We set an ambitious goal with derivatives to be able to differentiate all functions. And by all functions, I mean all elementary functions, which let me re remind you include all polynomial, algebraic, trigonometric, hyperbolic, and exponential functions, as well as their inverses and compositions thereof. Now to reach this ultimate goal of being able to find the derivative function for every elementary function, we need the rules of differentiation, which roughly speaking tell us how derivatives, the differentiation, works with the basic arithmetic operations. More precisely, these tell us that if we have two functions f and g, whose derivatives f prime and g prime exist, then according to the sum rule, the derivative of their sum is the sum of their derivatives. The difference rule tells us that the derivative of their difference is the difference of their derivatives. According to the constant multiple rule, uh, the derivative of any constant multiple of f is that constant times the derivative of f. The product rule says that the derivative of f times g is f prime times g plus f times g prime. The quotient rule says that the derivative of their quotient f over g equals f prime times g minus f times g prime, all divided by g squared, where we need to make sure that we do not divide by zero. For any positive integer n, we have a power rule, which says that the derivative of x to the n with respect to x equals n times x to the n minus one. We have the chain rule, which says that the derivative of the composition of f and g equals the composition of f prime and g multiplied by g prime. Finally, we have the basic derivatives, which tell us that the derivative of any constant is zero, that the derivative of x with respect to x is one, that the derivative of e to the x is itself e to the x, and that the derivative of the sine function is the cosine function. Now, with this list of rules, we can differentiate all elementary functions. And notice that these rules um, are not completely independent of one another. For example, the constant multiple rule is just a special case of the product rule, whereas the power rule can be obtained from the product rule, repeatedly applied, along with this basic derivative. Nevertheless, we will use this list of rules to find derivatives for all elementary functions. So let's get to it. Let's compute some derivatives. Use the rules of differentiation to compute the derivative of f of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 1. So pause the video and select your answer now. Hope you paused it and I've selected this option, which says that the derivative of that polynomial is 2x plus 3. You can find that derivative uh, using the rules of differentiation. So to differentiate this polynomial, we can first use the sum and difference rules to break up this polynomial, its derivative into the derivative of each term, added and subtracted. And then we can use for the first term, this derivative of x squared, the power rule with n equals two to get for the derivative being two x. Then for the next term, this derivative, we can combine the constant multiple rule to factor out that factor of three with the basic derivative that tells us that the derivative of x is one. Finally, we subtract the derivative of a constant, which is zero according to a basic derivative. So to summarize, we have two x plus three. Let's look at the next question. Use the rules of differentiation to compute the derivative of f of x equals x squared times e to the x. So pause the video and select your answer now. Hope you paused it and I've selected the third option which says that the derivative of x squared times e to the x is 2x times e to the x plus x squared times e to the x. And you can obtain that derivative by applying the first the product rule because this is the derivative of a product which tells us that it is the derivative of the first factor times the second factor plus the first factor times the derivative of the second factor. So this is the product rule, and then we can use the power rule for n, with n equals two to get the derivative of x squared being two x multiplied by e to the x plus x squared times the derivative of e to the x, which according to a basic derivative is itself. So hence we get our answer. Let's look at the next question. Use the rules of differentiation to compute the derivative of f of x equals one over x with respect to x, Pause the video and select your answer now. Hope you paused it and I've selected the first, op first option which says that the derivative of one over x is minus one over x squared. You can obtain this derivative by using the quotient rule 
um, and getting the it as the derivative of 1 times x minus 1 times the derivative of x all divided by the square of the denominator so x squared then using the basic derivatives which tell us that the derivative of any constant is 0 and that the derivative of x is 1 we get in the numerator a factor of minus 1 and this is divided by x squared let's look at the next question use the rules of differentiation to compute the derivative of f of x equals the sine squared of x pause the video and select your answer now hope you pause it and have selected the last option which says that the derivative of sine squared of x equals 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x you can obtain this derivative by using the chain rule first so since here in this composition of two functions f the outer function is the squaring function and g the inner function is the sine function we first need to differentiate the squaring function using the product rule so that takes the exponent down and then has the base uh, reduced to a, one, a, a power one less so that's why we have the sine of x there and this needs to be multiplied by the derivative of the inner function which is the sine of x so its derivative is what we need to multiply this by which according to a basic derivative is the cosine of x so that's why for the derivative we get two times the sine of x times the cosine of x okay i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one